Hello everyone, Free the Brinnies here. Welcome back for another episode of Let's Play Mother 3. In the last episode, we made it to the uh, Mole Cricket Hole here. And uh, now we have to navigate through this area. And just uh, so you know here, this is what the map looks like that they gave us. Yeah, we need to get all the way up there. Now, yeah, you can use this map and kind of go around there, but like they said, it's not too helpful. So, I already know the way out, so we're, there's not really much you can do in here, so I'll just show you guys how to get out of here easy way. We're going to start by going over here and having these mole crickets eat this lotus flower here. Alright, that takes care of that. Lotus root, I believe. Alright, now we're going to go north up here. Follow this path over here. And we want to go down the lower vine right here on the right. Alright. Once we reach this crossroad here, I do believe we want to go north. Yep. Go down this vine here. Yeah, this place is pretty crazy. Let's see. I think we're going to keep going east here, if I remember correctly. And we're going to go here. I believe this is the vine right here. Oh boy. Hopefully I got it. I think we might be okay. This ends up turning into basically a one-way street here, so... Oh yeah, I think we're on the right track. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple to navigate as long as you know where you're going, but I can imagine first-timers are going to get really lost in this place, so... There's not really any items to pick up in here, just a bunch of mole crickets you can talk to. Nothing too special, though. So, uh... Hopefully we can find our way out of here. Alright. And there we are. Nice. The bright light up ahead here. Phew. Oh, hey, that's right, the Mole Cricket brother. He doesn't like the sunlight. I guess this is where we part ways. Yeah, you are a pretty cool guy, little brother Mole Cricket. Just farewell. Alright, let's, uh, oh, what do we got over here? A Ten Yeti. Okay, well, I feel like this guy would be weak to fire, so uh, I guess we'll go ahead and try a PK Fire Beta on him. Although I think we might be able to defeat him with physical attacks, but we'll see. There we go. Oh yeah. Took care of him real good. Alright, cool. Oh boy, what else do we got up here? A chili dog. I see what you did there again. Probably also weak to fire. Ouch. Would go after Boney. Right, use a PK fire beta on him. There we go. Takes care of him. Oh yeah, we probably don't even have to use any of our psychic energy on this guy. What do we got up here? Double jerky. What exactly is that? Ah yes. It's twice dried jerky. Restores double. Okay. Better than normal jerky, so can't complain. Jerky squared. Let's try some normal attacks here to see if we can uh, beat them in one cycle with that. Without wasting too much PP. <clears throat> oh yeah. No problem. Another one bites the dust. Alright, level 37. Nice. All right, let's continue onward. Oh boy, another one of those Yetis. Who would have thought? We're gonna all just try physical attacks on him as well. So if we don't need to waste any of our PP here. Oh yeah, perfect. We'll be able to conserve then for a little while. Kumatora reaches level 34. Nice. 
Alright. Oh, hey, the snowman can talk. Oh, boy. Well, we'll just take them out one at a time, I suppose. Okay, one down. Your turn, chili dog. Ah, you have no friends. Takes care of those two. Wow, that's a lot of experience. Might not be a bad idea to grind in this area a little bit. Anything down here? Aha, we do. We have a present. Oh boy. Cancer bracelet, huh? Well, let's see, uh... Now, yeah, it raises our defense, but it lowers our offense, so... I think what we'll do is give that to Kumatora. She might actually be able to use that more than we can, so... Go ahead and, uh... Oop, right here. Yeah, better defense upgrade. Works for me. Alright, let's continue up here. We gotta be getting close. Oh boy. Two more chili dogs to deal with. Well, I guess as long as they don't call for help too much, we'll be okay. a biting attack. Yeah, you guys don't hit too hard, so that's always good. Ooh, nice hit, Kumatora. Pony should be able to finish him. There we go. Nice, nice. Gotta be getting close to the top of the mountain, though, I would assume. Oh boy, another slope. And I say, usually they got yetis all over here. Oh boy, yep, there's a couple of them up here. I wonder if we can take them on one at a time. Now we got a back attack on this guy, so... Should be able to finish him off, no problem. Nice hit, Kumatora. Wow, we're getting crits all over the place. Not that I'm complaining. Really comes in handy. A luxury banana. What are these guys doing holding on to those things? Aw, oh, nuts. We should have gave some of those to Salsa. Didn't even think about it. Ah, well, I'm sure he'll be okay. He doesn't have to worry about being with Facade anymore. Pretty sure Facade is dead now, because he fell off that building, you know, that tower, so... I can't imagine he survived the fall. Ooh, that's close. A little sluggish there with that. Alright, got some more experience. Matter of fact, how are we looking at inventory-wise? Yeah, you guys are filling up pretty quick. The one thing that can be a little bad about this game, we'll go ahead and drop that is the uh, fact that your inventory gets clogged up so easily. Oh, hey, Snowman. Oh, nice to meet you, Snowman, that Lydia made. Oh, item guy, is that you? Oh, yes, it is. As a matter of fact, I would like to deposit stuff. I don't think I need that anymore. I'm gonna get rid of the mementos for now. And the friends yo-yo. Because I don't think we'll need those. Go ahead and get rid of that. Go ahead and get rid of that. Put the rubber cape away. We'll put that nut away that Salsa gave us. That way we can hang on to it and don't accidentally throw it away. Bony, you got anything that you need to get rid of? Now I think you're all set. Okay. I think we're all set and ready to go here. Now we're doing the best we can. Thank you, item guy. I'm glad you're here to support us in our time of need. Oh, hey, there's Kermit the Safe Frog. Kermit the Safe Frog here. Man, it is freezing up here. Why do I have to be up here to save your game? Can you at least give me a sweater or something? Hey, man, you chose to do this, not me, so... I'm not the one who decided to save the game. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, be careful out there. I'm gonna go back to freezing now. Oh, boy, that's pretty deep. Hey, you want to build a snowman? Don't even start. We are not putting Frozen in this. Let's just keep going before he continues. Oh, what was that noise? Old Cricket? Oh, boy.
Uh, yeah, I guess, if you want. What'd you pick up? Sincerity dumplings. Dumplings made with the Mole Cricket's sincerity. Restores 100 HP. Okay. Strong against ice, not bad. Ooh, nice. Wow, he's got some pretty good stuff here. Matter of fact, I wonder if we... You're gonna be here, right? Well, hopefully he's gonna be up there. Let's go ahead and withdraw some TP. We might actually be able to use some of that stuff that he's got. Yeah, actually, can I take my money out? I got a pretty decent chunk there. Thank you. Let's see what we can buy from him. Ah, there he is. Hello, Mr. Mole Cricket. Just for whatever reason, the gods have decided to bless him with items. Go ahead and... Yep, sell that. I'll go ahead and... Oop. Kumatora. Hang on. Go ahead and... Go ahead and equip that, Kumatora. There we go. Lucas. Go ahead and buy a bear hat. Sell my cow hat. Uh, Bony, you get a, a bear hat. Yes. Get rid of that. Kumatora, you get a white ribbon. Yep. And I think we're we're good here now. Yeah. Nice. Not too bad. I mean, I know those warm sweaters are good against ice, but I don't think we really need to worry about that. Well, you know, we'll go ahead and hang on to our money for now, just in case. I was going to deposit it, but I think we should be okay. I don't really plan on dying, so we won't lose anything. But everybody's all geared out now, so go ahead and heal up here. Probably save one more time for good measure, though. Better safe than sorry, because who knows what's going to come up next. Yeah, dude, if you want to warm up, there's a hot spring literally just north here, so... Might not be a bad idea to warm up a little bit. Just saying. Alright, well, I'll give my regards. Alright, let's see. Oh, hey. The Mad Gypsy. That must be Lydia. Lydia, I presume? Oh, bye, rabbits. Sorry, didn't mean to scare them away. Oh, yeah, actually, that would be pretty nice. Can we come in? That would be amazing. Alright, let's uh, head on inside here. Oh boy, hey, why is there a pig mask here? What's this guy doing here? Oh. Well, that was kind of you to take him in. Well, we're not here to deal with him, so... Yeah, that's me. Yeah, we've come a long way up the mountain here, so... Well... Yeah, unfortunately. Two my gypsies are gone already. This will make number three. What's that? Oh, I guess that's true. Who's gonna take care of the bunnies? I guess that is a bit of a conundrum. Can I just use Life Up Beta on him? Well, it happens, I guess. I mean, who really expects when the time's coming? I mean, I didn't think I was going to be the chosen one, but here I am. Alright, so... I guess with that, the final, the next needle is uh, right behind this door here, the third one. Will we be able to pull it, or will we have some issues along the way? Well, I guess we'll have to wait and find out on the next episode of Let's Play Mother 3. See you later, Pretty Squad. Have a good day.